Uh, what? Um. Bye. <laughs> My heart can't take this. Hello? Did I write a note down? No? You know we're gonna talk about that screen? Hello? Oh god, I thought that was a freaking monster apparently. Oh, there's boards on this door. Looks like you're trying to hide something. Now I wonder why it won't budge. Ma'am? Oh. You're... Yep. What is this? Is this the air graves? Okay. Boop. Wait. I wasn't in the archive? Okay. I'm confused. I'm just gonna go to the wine cellar. I'm gonna try and do whatever it says. And if there's any monsters, I got to run. Never mind! <laughs> Mementos, find the key for the wine cellar. Um, let's go to the archives then. I probably shouldn't be running. I think we're gonna have stamina, right? With the thing. When did I get a pot? No, I don't want the... No, get rid of the pot. Okay. My lantern, and then I have a pot. I'm, I'm really not sure where I got the pot from, but... Oh, okay. I really think I'm going to here. Yep, this door. A young boy struck his bit. Excuse me, what? The other. What? Okay, please tell me this is some sort of like insect. And not a human nor a innocent animal. Welp! That's wonderful. Ma'am, I think you broke your door. And your ceiling. There's a note. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Hmm. Okay. Is there anything? Stupid noises. Is there anything in here? No. Can I just like? Anything in here? No. 
looking for the key. Is there a key in here? A key in here. Pull that the key. In here, build the tinder box. Another note. Okay, so there's a contract with Will Wilhelm, if I pronounce that, to the center. Okay. Is there anything else in here of use to me? Doesn't look like it. This one was pretty useless. This room. Study. Excuse me. Nope. Nope. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Dang. I would not like being trapped. Mm, then the box. Is there anything that would be in these doors? Aside from food. Apparently not. Um Hello? in here? This place useless. Guess I'm missing something. Anything up here? Nothing. Okay. Doesn't look very friendly, Dina. But there. Nope. Okay. All right, let me find another key then. Is there another entrance? Maybe. Don't really want to go through here though. This 
Definitely looks like a place a monster would show up. Excuse me, what? dark in here. I hate it. Can you see? No, open the fuck open. Playing. Whoa. I don't even notice. <laughs> it's almost angry. Did I miss anything here? stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. What is it? Is it a crystal? It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. The orb? I reached out, closing it in my hands. Maybe you shouldn't touch the that. A faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Maybe you shouldn't have touched that. See you. I see you over there, clean the piano. Is there anything else in here? Can I clean up here? Can I escape? Can I escape? Please. I want to be in here. Let's go be. Take the book. Get up. We have the book. Give me that. Okay. So. I think I'm gonna end it here, guys. I have no idea how long I've been recording. But, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And maybe I'll make another episode of this. Maybe I'll do some streaming of this on my Twitch, which will be linked in the description. Maybe this will just be an occasional post. I have no idea. If you guys want more, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!